See what Olusegun Obasanjo has done recently that is making headlines. Olusegun Obasanjo has been Nigeria's military head of state as well as a democratic one from 1999 to 2007. Recently, he decorated his own biological son who became a brigadier general. But he, he did something recently that is um, causing him to be in the headlines and then we're bringing you up to speed with some of those things. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. General Olusegu Obasanjo, who has been a long-standing chief of the Obea Kingdom in Ogun State, needs no introduction. He is too well known to us here to introduce. In fact, the retired army general of our, of our army is popular and deliberately known by all, both in and outside the country. Obasanjo has been a military as well as a civilian president of the country. The masses and all tribes of people that is out there know him too well. We can always go back to our civil, our civil war days to 1967 to 1970 to recall the man and his exploits as the chief superintendent in the heroic work he did to maintaining peace in Nigeria. Obasanjo did a lot. Uh, Biokuta, the one and only black scorpion of the Soldier era in those areas of poisonous bullet, he was there to ensure that guns of thunder and artifices of fire to bring down all that wanted to destroy the nation. Olusha Gwabasanjo of late has been talking about the insecurity situation in the country, but has not been very much vocal as this administration see him rather as a rival, rather than somebody who is bringing uh, words that could potentially assist and help. The current administration sees Obasanjo more as a rival, although he has no opportunity or tenor to come out like good lucky Billy Jonathan to lead Nigeria in any way. But when he advises and he speaks into the political terrain on current issue, they neglect it and even at times they go ahead and use aids to speak back to him. Olusegu Obasanjo has encouraged Nigerians as election drawed closer to do right by themselves to ensure they pick the right leadership as they cannot continue to pick men who come with promises and are not ready to move the nation forward. If Nigeria is to move forward, Nigerians must recognize that they need a change in government, they need a change in the current administration, and they need a change for people and men and women who has hearts to bring this nation to a better position as we forge ahead and go forward. Olusegu Obasanjo has spoken that Nigerians need to be aware that there is need for change and must not allow anything at the side to take them away from true, from true leadership in getting the right person to lead going forward. 2023 is a crucial year and no one can make the mistake of picking the same set of people again with the same mindset, with the same ideas that have not moved this nation forward for far too long now. So that's Olusha Gwabasanjo um, who has said, well, he feels very compelled to speak, although his words are not being uh, considered in this administration. When he speaks, they don't really listen to it because they see him more as a rival, which they ought not to. But sadly, that's how he's saying. You know, the other time he spoke, and uh, before he could say Jack Robinson, they sent uh, a Femi Addition on him. You know, Femi Additional was the person who, you know, started speaking to Obasanjo as if, you know, they were, they were, they were made. Where the area, I mean, the area where Femi comes from, as well as Obasanjo, they, they re regard and respect elders. However, these persons and these people, especially Femi Additional, has not paid attention to these areas. You know, Buhari's administration rather sees Olusegu Obasanjo as a threat rather than a former president who, you know, has intention, who has a heart, 
you know, to, to bring about, you know, uh, give suggestion that could potentially move the nation forward. So these are some of the things happening, and Olusegun Basanjo is begging Nigerians again to make her white sunshine and pick the right candidate that could potentially set Nigeria on the right course. You know, these words very soon you will see the reply from the from the presidency because they don't want him to say anything. You see, and they want him to be silent and not to speak, as though if he speaks, his words are going to. I don't understand the rivalry going on in that quarters and in that ranks. Anyway, it says uh, elections are around us again, they are upon us, but we must make real decision, you know, we must make real decision to pick the right persons that will help us. The insecurity we are experiencing in this nation could be dealt with if we have good leaders and those who are honest about the situation of the country and that potentially wants to do something different worthwhile that will change the course of what we are experiencing. Nigeria has been in this state for far too long, and uh, where they come with deceitful words is the same thing over and over again. Have you heard um, Tinubu's new promise, and uh, they will pay your children Waiyek fee? Like seriously, if you are not secured, you've not eaten, you're not in your right mind, do you go to write exam? Exams is one of those things that you need your spirit, soul, and body, you need yourself you know, you need your you need your all to be in one place to be able to give your best because you are being something is being requested of you, and all he could say was that he's going to give them, um, he's going to pay for Waiyek. Like that is the main problem of the country. For now, Waiyek is the least of all the problem. It is the least on the line, the very least, the last one, so to say, the very last thing. You see, it shows that. The, these people don't even understand what is on ground. They have their private jet, they fly in air, so they don't care what happens to the common man and woman on the streets. All that the people are going through, what you can promise them is Waiyek. Just like they promised the Nigerians that their children in university will be given bursaries and the school fees will be made reasonable. Buhari went out of the country and told the world that Nigerian youths are very lazy. Ah, they don't want to work. They don't want to do anything. They say they are from Oye country. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.